Welcome to this brief introduction of the Salesforce to Jira connector for project management and case management brought to you by Soljit Cloud Solutions. The connector is ideal for companies managing their sales with Salesforce and their projects with Jira or any business in consulting, professional services or offering any other kind of projects and services. What the connector essentially does is it enables the conversion of Salesforce opportunities and cases into Jira projects and issues, thereby ensuring that Jira projects start in alignment with their Salesforce contracts. It also creates an automated case to issue feed between Salesforce cases converted into Jira issues, and it sends all that project and issue data back to Salesforce, where powerful Salesforce tools can be used for reporting and other follow-ups. Now let's dive into the connector. First, let's look at how Salesforce opportunities become Jira projects, in which the Salesforce opportunity products become Jira issues. Going into my Salesforce, here I'm in a Salesforce opportunity, and we can see on the right side that it's an opportunity with products. In this case, the sales price is an hourly rate and the quantity is a number of hours. On the top right, in my quick actions, I click Sync with Jira. Here, I will create a Jira project based on the opportunity. So I've got my project name, which is the name of the opportunity. I have to select a project lead, type a project key and I can create the Jira project. In this next window, I see that all my products are ready to be converted into Jira issues, including their names, descriptions, the estimated time in hours that was quoted in the product, and I have a few other settings. So here I'm going to select tasks as my default issue type. I'm going to select a reporter. Uh, I'm not going to put a due date and we're just going to create it. And voila, my project is created and I'm back into my opportunity. Now, if I go into my Jira projects, I can see that a project was created from my converted opportunity. And within that project, I already have my issues created with the name and the description, as well as the original estimate, which is coming from the hours associated with my Salesforce product. Now that our Jira project has been created from our Salesforce opportunity, let's look at what Jira project data is sent back to Salesforce, namely hours logged or work logs, uh, comments, as well as new issues that would be created in that same Jira project. To show you this, I will use an existing project which I've already populated with data. So if I take this project here called New Soft Software Development, I can see that I have a few issues, including one with multiple comments, multiple work logs, etc. etc. So I'm going to go back into my Salesforce. I'm going to go check at my Jira projects. As you can see, my new project is there as well as the new soft project. If I go into my new soft project, I can see in related all my issues. I can then pick one to dive deeper. Here I see the details of the issue and I can see in related all the different work logs. So I am going to pick one. And in this work log, for example, you see the time spent and the description for that specific task. Now, one last note on this topic. If I go back to my project in Jira and I would create a new issue, this issue will also then appear in my Salesforce project. So it's not a one-way sync, it's a two-way sync. And if you add issues or change other elements of your project, they'll be shown both in Jira and Salesforce. I go back to Salesforce, to my project. 
I do a sync project. And I have my new issue here. Now I did a manual sync because the automated sync is every 15 minutes. And in this case, I didn't want to have to wait. Now let's look at how Salesforce cases can become Jira issues. First, we're going to look at uh, selecting the Jira project where the cases will be converted to issues. Then we're going to look at how a new Salesforce case is converted into a new Jira issue. And finally, we're going to look at the Jira data being sent back to Salesforce. So in Jira, I've created a project called cases. So this is the one we're going to use to feed all the Salesforce cases uh, and convert them into Jira issues. So currently I have no issues. Going back to Salesforce in my Jira connector settings tab, what I see here is that there's a case settings section. Uh, I'm going to go in here because I want to import the project I just created in Jira. So my Jira project key is CAS. I do a little search. I see that uh, I found my Jira project, so I'm going to create the Jira project and I'm told that the Jira project has been successfully created in Salesforce. Now in my connector settings, I make sure to select the project that I just imported to make sure that the cases save in the right project and I save my settings. So I'm going to create a new case. So it's a new case. Let's say that it's a phone case. And let's create it. We see here that the number is 1030. And so we're going to go see in Jira our case. And I'm going to refresh. And we see that my case is created. So this is an ideal way to have uh, Salesforce cases being automatically created in Jira so that support teams and development teams can handle them as fast as possible. Uh, and the uh, information about the case will be relayed back to Salesforce. For example, if I set this case to done, we're going to go see in Salesforce. If I do a sync with Jira, we see that the status is now closed, etc., etc. Now, for the purpose of this quick demo, I've done a manual sync. The automatic sync is every 15 minutes. And lastly, a little reminder that now that your Jira projects and issues data is synced with Salesforce, you can use the power of Salesforce to report and analyze the profitability of your projects. You can use reports to analyze the efficiency of your support teams and how fast they resolve cases. This is of course achieved by creating custom reports in Salesforce, which you can also put into dashboards for more easily viewable data. If you are interested in the connector but would like to have a bit more customization, don't forget that we can help with that, so don't hesitate to contact us. To acquire the connector, you can contact us at sales at or dial the one 276 5548 and you can also visit our website at www.soljit.com.